In the calm surroundings of the Volta region, two pregnant women face a journey filled with courage, challenges and a strong desire for essential care. They cross the first river, not too deep, a mere prelude to the two more rivers lying ahead. Keep in mind, those next ones are deeper. Arriving at the second river, they now require a canoe waiting at the banks to ferry them across the water. They embark on paddling the canoe alone. No life jackets, no protective gear, just the sheer courage of two mothers to be navigating the waters of uncertainty for the sake of the unborn children. From Achikope to Akukope, what used to be a regular trip for Agnes Bedi and Naomi Asunda has become risky due to the overflowing rivers, a consequence of the Akosumbo Dam spillage. Undeterred, these expectant mothers embark on a canoe ride hoping to reach their destination for antenatal care. As they reach the third river, luck smiled upon them when a kind fisherman offered to paddle them to the next town. Without a second thought, my cameraman and I joined them on the risky journey, driven by the emotion of solidarity and the shared quest for a safer passage. However, nature has its own plans. In the middle of the brave journey, heavy rain joins the scene. The once soothing sound of the rains turn into a symphony of challenges for these mothers to be. It is at the moment raining heavily and you can tell um, the difficulty most of these pregnant women go through here in this community. We still have a long journey ahead of us these are the unseen stories here in the typical villages um, affected by the dam spillage. Really disturbing. This woman here is heavily pregnant. It is raining heavily as I am talking to you. And we have a long journey ahead of us. We started a journey before, you know, the rain started. And it is risky. It is very disturbing. It is dangerous. The serene atmosphere is disrupted by harmful reptiles, including snakes, emerge due to the flooding. Upon reaching the town, the health center stood closed, almost half submerged by water, rendering their perilous journey seemingly futile. I have not been feeling well for two days now. There's no money for health care and the hospital is closed. I haven't eaten since yesterday. The flood is not allowing us to go to the hospital or find food to eat. It's worrying for my family. Swiftly, we had to embark on the roughly 45-minute return journey once more. At this juncture, the shivered from the cold of the showers, adding sadness to the situation. It's crucial to know that their homes too have been submerged due to the dam spillage. Now, both of them reside in shelters that are far from suitable for their current conditions. We are at a makeshift structure where she has come to seek shelter after water engulfed her home. This is her and her five children. Really heartbreaking, she has been telling me that ever since they came here, if not flood waters disturbing them, anytime it rains, just like it is drizzling at the moment, you can clearly tell that the summer hat that has been used to cover the roof of the structure has not been embedded properly. So water is able to penetrate through the roof into their rooms. <laughs> This is where we sleep. The building is weak and can collapse on us. She indicated that her husband abandoned her and their five children and till now she hasn't heard from him. According to her, her husband said he was going to bring food and other relief items to them. But at the moment it's just her and her five kids in 
this lonely abode. Their stories, though filled with difficulties, showcase the resilience the lifts in the face of environmental changes. Guided by determination, these mothers press on, navigating not just rivers, but the elements themselves, all for the well-being of the unborn children. They have complained of neglect. They have also complained of not having access to antenatal care at all due to the current situation here. This is really devastating, disturbing and needs urgent attention. Else, these pregnant women will continue to risk their lives and the babies in their rooms. Godwin Asideba, TV3 News, Volta Region.